Hey you guys, I'm back with another quick word from the Lord, another message. While I was in the shower, God clearly told me everyone is not your assignment. All right. And I know why he said that because um with the, the spirit of deception going on, with people trying to come out, come back and leech off of God's children again, everyone is not your assignment. All right, everyone is not your assignment, especially when you're coming back to reconnections with people and they're still in the same spiritual place. They have not grown. Um, they're still eating milk when they should be eating meat. Um, it is God is saying that everyone is not your assignment. That's one reason why God has been telling us to set healthy boundaries, to set healthy standards with people. We're going to have to learn how to say no, because everybody is not your assignment. Okay, like I told y'all in this season, God told me I'm going to have to let my yay be yay and let my nay be nay. Everybody is not your assignment. Everybody is not your assignment. Some of these people, they want to run to you instead of run to God. And that's why God is saying everybody is not your assignment. You had to put in the work with God. You had to go through the process with God. You had to learn how to see God for yourself and um, be on your face. They're going to have to go through that same process. It might look a little different, but they're going to have to do some of the same things that you did. And when you're dealing with people that don't want to go through that, they, they don't want to humble themselves, everybody ain't your assignment. Some people in this season are going to really have to learn the hard way. And God is saying, everybody is not your assignment. And that's why a lot of God's children are finding themselves drained. They're finding themselves burnt out. Because we as God's children, as we are being servants, we want to help everybody. But we have to understand, we can't help everybody. Jesus couldn't help everybody who didn't believe. He couldn't help everybody. He only could help the believers. So we have to understand that everybody is not our assignment. And God wants you to get this now because when he comes through with your blessings and I know the blessings is on the horizon. That's why God has been calling a lot of his children to rest. We are in Lent, but everybody is not your assignment. And he wants you to establish this now because when your blessings come through, he don't want you to be used. He don't want you to be leashed off of. He's going to bless you so you can use what he has called you to use to be a blessing to someone else that he has assigned to you. So if you are around the wrong people, I promise you, if you are around the wrong people, and that's why sometimes God will not bless us until we remove ourselves, until we realize that we're not everybody else's assignment. Because if he knows if he bless us with something, everybody else is going to reap, reap off of it and we won't. Then these people, whenever they do, they leave you high and dry and they forget that you blessed them. Or they forget, they forget who you were to them they start mistreating you god don't want that in this season that's why god is saying let your yay be nay get let your yay be yay and let your nay be nay because everybody's not your assignment in this season in this hour a lot of these people god want them to turn to him first and they're doing things they're doing the opposite. That's why you have to pray and ask God to strengthen your spirit of discernment. They're doing the opposite. Yeah, I had so many people that try to play me. <laughs> I won't. I shouldn't even say play me. I had so many people try to think that I was stupid and envious, and then had a spirit of discernment to where when God had when these people had come calling me and talking to me and asking me questions, God told me to tell them no. Because now you're operating in the spirit of disobedience. Now you done mismanaged, mismanaged your inheritance. You mismanaged the things that God has given you. And now you want to come here? And no, I can't. God will allow us to go through little tests too, y'all, to see if we can handle the assignment. But God is saying everybody is not your assignment. That's why I told y'all 
um, a few weeks ago that God said for um, us to write the vision down and make it plain, like write down what, who and what people that God had told you to help, write it down so you can go back to that stuff and refer, refer back to it. Write the stuff down that God said that he wanted you to do once he started sending these things, these resources into you to write it down so you can realize that everybody is not your assignment. Y'all, there's power in writing things down. And when we write things down, we have something that we can go, God will call, recall everything back to our remembrance. And we will have things that we can go back into reference to and remember, okay, this is what God had called me to do. So if I wrote this down and I know for certain that this is what God has called me to do, I can't deter from what God has called me to do in this season and this hour because because it is written. He told me to write it down and this is what I had to go by. All right. So that's why God is telling, had told me to tell his children months ago to write things down because everybody is not your assignment. And when you will go back and look, you will see your assignment. It's clearly written. And, you, the, and, and when it's written like that, you will know, okay, when these things starting to come, this is not part of my assignment. So I know this is a definite no. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Or if God had been tell you to do it, you know, it's a definite no. But everybody is not your assignment in this season, in this hour. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad about telling people no. I used to be the point where I ain't, you know, people would try to guilt trip me and try to make me feel bad about telling people, about telling them no and stuff like that. But you're not my assignment. You're not my assignment. You are not my assignment. Especially when you have people, like I said, that are disobedience and they're going through because of their disobedience and now God is dealing with them. You are not my assignment and people like i said people in this hour that god has been showing me they're running to people instead of running to god and that's why a lot of god's children he has told them to start saying let your yay be yay and let your nay be nay and to set healthy boundaries and say no because when people are doing that whether you know it or not they're making you their god and that's idolatry and god is against idolatry so everyone is not your assignment. Some people are going to have to go through in order to see God. That's just how it is. We all have to go through something in life in order to get a relationship with God, in order to know who God is for ourselves. But people won't be able to do that if we make everybody our assignment. And God is saying everybody is not your assignment in this season, in this hour. All right. So I love you guys. I pray that you guys have an amazing day. Don't feel guilty. Everybody is not your assignment. You can't help everybody. You're just one person. Work the assignment that God has given you. Some of these people, they're going to have to go to God for themselves because right now they're walking in the spirit of disobedience and that's where their attacks are coming from. Okay. So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later. <laughs>